Let's take a look at this position white to play. White is Hu Yifen, Chinese Grandmaster and former women ch world chess champion. And black is Fabiano Caruana, rated 2817 when he played this game. White to play. We can clearly see that the king in g7 is exposed. However, we cannot go to g3 because the bishop is controlling that. And we cannot go to g4 because that bishop is controlling. So you could say that Fabiano has things under control. However, here, Hu Yifan played a beautiful move. Bishop b5. What is the idea? Coming here. And this is another way to get at the king over here. Now, Fabiano played bishop c7. Let's take a look. On here, the logical move to prevent rook e8 is to play rook e7 on the e5. However, you have check, 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 and finally rook e7. The problem is the queen cannot take here because you have a pin over here. So white is winning after this move. Therefore, logically, Caruana played bishop c7. Now, rook e8, that was the plan. Queen here. This is dangerous as well. Fabiano wants to come here, attacking the king with counterattacks. So, who even blocks that? Bishop g3, queen here. White doesn't want to trade queens and move back here. Next move here. And now we get at a critical moment in the game. Take. The rook takes back here. And another very strong move by Hu Yifen. Queen f5. Finally, you can see that that rook is controlling over here. And she wants to come over here, attacking the king. So she made progress. Caruana takes on g3. Check. King move. And now... Queen h3 checks, another fine move to attack. And here, black resign. So let's see what happened if the king moved to g5. Then the queen would take with check, the king move. And here you have a very nice mate. You come here, take, take. And there's no real difference again coming in h4. So that's one mating idea. Another one, if the king were to come to g6, you take, the king come back here. And again, you could try to move the rook over here, but you have another checkmate idea. You go here, check, take, and take. And here the king has only one square to go to, and you do checkmate. And over here, if you put the rook, I will take, king moves, Checkmate. So this was the reason why in this position, Grandmaster Caruana, who was uh, later on a world chess uh, challenger to Magnus Carlsen, resigned against Hu Yifen. No, not really. I got. I felt like I got some chances. Okay, but then one time, run, I mean, runs out. Somehow there is like a huge bomb that occurred, like in many games. Extremely impressive game by the Chinese Grandmaster. In this position, this is black to play. Pia Kramling is a Swedish woman Grandmaster. She's playing with the black pieces against Mihai Olibin in the Rilton Cup play in Sweden. In this position, it looks like black is in trouble because the king is here the queen is attacking the rook, so a normal move would be rook f8, but why would pay rook a d1 and the pressure is for black to defend? Instead, Pierre Kremlin had a surprise in store here and play bishop f6, defending rook on h8, but the bishop is not protected. So white took, and now she simply moved rook g8. Black is a piece down. However, this is the idea. Look at this diagonal. Black can put tremendous pressure and attacking the king over here. And that's worth giving a piece. So in this position, 
white has to defend on g2 otherwise it's gonna be checkmated very soon so black took here attacking the bishop bishop moves and now rook d2 and again you can see the rook is very active attacking the bishop but also putting pressure on these pawns now that diagonal is very strong for black because it's opposite the color bishops so white has a dark square control but black is winning because of the light square attack so let's see what happened here you may say well let's defend the bishop that way we have things under control however queen c6 and you're attacking on g2 and there's no way to defend that pawn therefore white played bishop g3 and here another very strong motif bishop d5 with the idea queen b7 so you could do this directly however this is not as strong because why we try to attack the queen the queen comes here and again why wants to force the queen exchange so this would be a weaker continuation after bishop d5 there's not much white white can do queen h4 queen b7 full pressure on g2 again here if you try to defend g2 then h4 and if the queen moves you lose control of g2 if the bishop moves the rook attacks over here so this is winning on the spot so on here white try to play h3 check check and white resign so why did white resign you could try this move then rook g2 the rook cannot take because the queen will deliver checkmate on g2 so you move the king and here check by discovery it's gonna be checkmate in the next move therefore white resign in this position incredible display by pia kramling with an attack all made possible by a peace sacrifice that white did not see coming in this position instead of the standard rook f8 bishop f6 was a stroke of genius and that's how the game was decided thank you very much for watching